It's easily read by James Hook. Stop! Stop! <laughs> He's there again! Love it. Takes it away from his fly half and he's going to get penalised here. Fernandez right, under huge right, pressure. Argentina have to be lively. Wales pouring in. Oh, Wales should have won that ball. And a rather sliced kick from yeah. Horatio Aguja brings play Four, to an end. It's a Wales Four. ball down to Colin Charvis. Yeah, I just think that Wales should be a little bit more direct now. We can see that uh, when they've had an opportunity to, to lift the tempo, the Argentinians have taken uh, scrums rather than free kicks. The steam is really running out for them. I think we've all spoken about how the Argentinians, some of them are semi-professionals and amateurs. Wales should take advantage of this for the last 20 minutes, be very direct and put a lot of pace onto the game. Thank you, Colm. We saw the replacement there, Manuel Carrizo. The Biarritz lock is on for... Sam Bassetti in the Argentina second row. Stumble from Cooper. Flings the pass wide. And Jimmy Roberts. It's all back, knocked it back. Is under the cosh. Gethin Jenkins gets that ball to Stephen Jones. Rock! Duncan Jones. Rock! Andy Powell. Rick! Stay. Shin Williams just drops it onto the hands of Martin Williams. The pressure coming in from the Argentina tacklers, Jonathan Davis. Okay, Dev. Back, Captain. Hands out now, hands out, lash it, leave it. Stephen Jones finds Alan Wynne Jones. It's there where they need quick, quick ball. Let's throw in the middle, that's fine. Cooper and pressure from Rancero. Argentina do well, that's Lobby coming away, chips. And complains at the challenge. Finds as the referee and Shane Williams now sees the space. And Williams flying to the line. It is Williams once again who breaks Argentina's heart but brings the Millennium Stadium to life. Who else but Shane Williams? Something out of nothing. And once he's in open space, he's probably the most dangerous runner. Well, certainly one of in the world. Who are never going to catch him. He saw the gap. Now then, but here's the point. That's not well. Is that a, an, a, that's got to be a penalty to me because... Does he make any attempt to put his arms around him or does he just shoulder charge him? In terms of the game, it's not going to matter because the referee and the officials haven't given it. And that man, predatory, he saw the gap. He scored the try. One of two. And of course, Stephen Jones adds the extras. And until this game, this really had been a barren year in terms of try scoring for Shane Williams. Just a couple, but two more today, and up to 50 in total. There you are, running away. The frustration of a captain who has done so much, but perhaps now seeing this game slipping away from his side. 48 tries for Wales now for Shane Williams, 50, including his two for the Lions. And Martin Rodriguez, try scorer for Argentina, gets his underway again. Wales dealing with that kick-off. In from the side. Let him go. Ledesma okay, that's time. punished, and Dwayne Peel, who's on for Gareth Cooper, takes Wales forward again. Martin Williams, super handsome Williams. Don't pull him in. Hands away. Put your hands out. Martin Williams sees only Lobby in front of him. And now a bit more space again for Wales. And this is Jonathan Davis. And out to Roberts. Wales have a fizz about them now. 
One of the things I'd like to see the Welsh forwards do is get further beyond the ball because far too many times both Gareth Cooper and now Dwayne Peel have been having to dig into the moles and rooks to get the ball out. Yeah, get him out. Yep, you're right, referee. Ledesma furious. But penalty Wales. Well, he's a tackler there, and as soon as there, he's got to get out. Kicker, kicker. You may say he can't get out there, but then he had a choice of whether to be on that angle when he tackled anyway. And frankly, the uh, benefit of the doubt shouldn't go in favour of the man who's the, uh, the defender anyway. Well, superb. <laughs> well, they're saying that that Stephen Jones kick went to the right of the corner flag, but no, it will give Wales a five-meter five line-out. No room to work with at all, and, and if indeed that didn't go to the right and went to the left, that's a fantastic kick. More replacements being made. And on comes Jonathan Thomas. Luke Captain, Charteris the has been departing. Then two quick penalties. Jonathan Let's Thomas, a late again. replacement this week for Bradley Davis, who was on the bench but injured his ankle. And Hugh Bennett there is on for Matthew Rees. And his first task is to find Alan Wynne Jones. The Wales, Wales line out today has been very impressive. It has. Now, can they be equally impressive on a forward drive? They're doing it right to start with getting the thing set up before it starts moving, but once they start it moving, then they have to keep the power on. Come have use it! Use it! Use it, cries referee Clancy. So Martin Williams does that and keeps the ball alive well through Peel and Jones and Jonathan Davis. Cracks beginning to appear in Argentina's defence, but a wild pass beyond Powell and Jones and through comes Ryan Jones. Andy Powell. Another ugly pass to Stephen Jones. Well, it was a stopping pass, wasn't it? Made him turn, couldn't keep the momentum up. Alan Wynne Jones. As Wales closed again, Argentina stole. And away come Argentina and on. Rabadia. Run away, tackler! Well, Argentina need quick ball. They've got it. They've got an overlap. They've oh, got the they wrong can way. move it. Camusi instead the takes the on. inside ball and it's lost forward. And it's Wales ball, but that really was an overlap missed. Well, this is a problem when you've got uh, players who are semi professional, amateur. 11. Don't always see the 11. options that are the right ones. And seven. Look here. There we have a three on okay. two. They decide to go inside where the Welsh defence is coming across and covering. That ball had to go right, it went oh, left. Oh. And, and more changes. On comes Benjamin Urda Pileta, replacing Kamusi on the wing. And uh, that man, Alejandro Campos, is into the back row for Alejandro Abadia. Touch. Pause, engage. Fresh legs, but time running out, and another just penalty right for Wales. You've just come. And Dwayne Peel crying for just the come right across. quick ball. <laughs> well, if you ask me who took that down, I'd say Wales because they were protecting their ball. Argentina turned it slightly when the drive on went down. Well, one of the reasons to take this is that this would take Wales beyond two converted scores. So Lee Halfpenny will. Have a pop from well, 48 metres or so. Uh, Scotland Australia is up next on BBC Two at five o'clock. We'll see if Australia can remain undefeated. And uh, England, New Zealand, of course, highlights on BBC Three. Coming 
drifting a touch, but still inside the post. Another great nudge from Lee Halfpenny. That takes Wales to 33 points. And half of the stereophonics are happy. There's your man Kelly, lead singer, and uh, Argentinian drummer as well. Not so happy. Never mind. Replacements for Wales, number 21, Andrew Bishop, number 22, Tom James. Well, another half-penny penalty, penalty eloquently Dan struck by Cole, the young Jordan man. Davis. Oh, Shane Williams is coming off. And Shane Williams! So off comes the man who today has taken his Wales try-scoring tally to 48, overall to 50, Shane Williams. And on comes Tom James, also Dan... Lydia on Carry back in. for Wales as well, and quite a story behind his career. But Argentina with the ball and with half a chance, Rodriguez. And there is number 19, Dan Lydia, securing that ball for Wales, earning his first cap. Another penalty quickly taken by Dwayne Peel. Support now from Lydiate. And a charge through from Tom James. Wales hungry for another try. Andrew Bishop is on. Yeah, I found it. Has a run! Taken now by Argentina. And Figueroa. Even Lobby Robert, down on his knees looks spent from the effort. Little chip and chase from Urda Pileta. Good and hands, James, James Hook once more. Rock the hands, Rock! And you see what James Hook did there. Small technical point, but when he got there, he pushed the ball right away, and that's why he's won quicker. Far too few players do that. See, man in there, kept it in, slow, slow, slow. Oh. Like it comes to Tom James. Rock! Oh, Martin Williams steps, good hands as ever. Ryan Jones, not so. Jonathan Thomas does well. And Jamie Roberts. Good passage you play there. Rock! Through the middle, fine. Leave it come, no two. Get your hand out, two. Fine. Stay here. This has been better from Wales. They're beginning to... Back. No, it's not Just out. a little bit more. Dwayne Peel sends some big men out, and Gethin Jenkins takes it blind. But oh Argentina dear. still it. And Aguja is well watched. Argentina looked to be breathing so hard just now. Long pass out to Martin Rodriguez, just about works. Forward, says the referee. Well, if it is shaped up to do that the conventional way, instead of turning his body and then passing off the wrong hand. Here, if it had gone there... Oh, that's, that's marginal, actually. That's marginal, if you look to the lines in the pitch... Yeah, exactly. By an inch or two. Well, interesting moments, this, for... A man earning his first cap, Dan okay. Lydiate, a couple of years ago, broke his neck playing against Perpignan. A remarkable story, and a very proud moment for the 21-year-old Dragons back row player. Yeah, he should be. He should be. Could well have had an, a career-ending injury. He's fought back to that. He deserves a lot of recognition for that. Fantastic, fantastic opportunity today. Well, Martin Williams involved in a lot of things today, but good, Hansi. Just a little sympathy on the pass. Bang, bang, off, off. Quick ball kept alive. The forward pass there, I think the fact that he passed it off the wrong hand gave the impression that it had gone forward, when in reality, maybe not.